Hi everyone and welcome to your intermediate standing balance workout. The only thing that you're gonna need for this video today is something solid and stable to hold on to and maybe someone else there with you just in case you feel a little unsteady. You'll also need somewhere to be able to sit down. Now this video is gonna be best for someone who may be a little unsteady when standing but you are able to stand. Maybe you just need a little bit of support while you're upright. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get into our warm up and get ready. So let's go ahead, we're gonna do some little mini squats. So we're gonna bend our knees and lift ourselves back up. So let's keep doing a few of those. So wake up those legs and let them know we're about to work. We're gonna be going through two sets of five exercises today with little breaks in between each one. All right, our first exercise is going to be heel to toe. Now in this video, this is going to be my affected side. 60 seconds on the clock here. Go ahead and put your affected foot in front of your unaffected foot. We're gonna stand here and we are going to let our ankles do the work. So go ahead, we're gonna be standing upright See if you can feel those ankles trying to keep you steady. Now, if you have someone there with you or if you feel safe enough to try, you can take your hand off of your sturdy supportive surface and you'll feel your ankles start to go into overdrive keeping you upright. <laughs> Let's take a little bit of a break here. You're gonna step those feet apart. Maybe shift your weight back and forth. Let's go ahead and try that again. Affected foot comes in front of unaffected foot. Good, and we're gonna keep your, yourself upright here. Breathing deeply and rest. Good, let's take those feet apart. Now on the next set of those, we'll reverse the positions of our feet. So unaffected foot will go in front of our affected foot next time. But let's go ahead and jump into our second exercise, which are gonna be toe taps to the front and to the side. So using your affected side, 60 seconds on the clock here, you're gonna take and tap your toe up to the front, back to center, and then out to the side and back. Good. Now, we have got 60 seconds here, so I want you to go at your own pace, do what feels safe to you. There's no need to rush through this. We're all going at our own pace and that is perfectly fine. Good. Now, as you're standing here, I want you to try to not stare down at your feet. I want you to try to get a nice upright position. Get your shoulders back. You have something to hang on to, or maybe you're holding somebody's hand and you're bringing that affected foot forward, back to center and then out to the side and back to the center. So let's stop here. We're gonna widen our base of support, meaning that we're gonna have our legs spread about hip width apart. And we're just gonna stand here for a second. We're resting and we are getting ready for our next exercise. So next one is going to be reaching across. Now for this one, you may wanna have something to rest or support you on your affected side because what we're gonna be doing, by the way, there's 60 seconds on the clock, is reaching unaffected side across to affected side. So we're crossing the midline of our body. We're shifting weight from our unaffected side over onto our affected side. We're gently reaching and like I said, you may need to have someone here helping to hold you. If you have grip in your affected hand, you may wanna have something on this side to hold on to. Safety is really key with these balance exercises because to get your balance better, often we have to challenge it. And that can put us in some unsafe positions. So do everything you can to make this as safe as possible. Again, you're just gently reaching at your own pace, making sure that you feel safe, that you feel as steady as you can reaching across the midline of your body. Great job. Let's go ahead and stand here for just a minute. 
catch your breath. That movement got a little bit more dynamic, so you may feel a little shorter of breath, and that's gonna be true for our next exercise, which is gonna be standing marches. So I'm gonna show you that. We're gonna lift up affected leg by bending the knee, unaffected leg by bending the knee. There are 60 seconds on the clock here. Now, you can modify this exercise if shifting your weight back and forth, alternating legs is too difficult, you can stop and just lift one. But if just lifting one is too easy, shift your weight back and forth, one leg up, next leg up. Just make sure you're holding on to something to steady yourself. But if you do feel like you're ready for more of a challenge, you can try to let go. Just make sure you have someone there with you while you're doing these. I'm gonna go ahead and hang back on. If you feel safer, or if you feel safe enough, you can move a little bit more quickly. But if you're not moving that fast, that's no problem. Go at your own pace. And let's take a rest here for our last one. This is where the chair is going to come in handy. So you may have had a chair behind you this whole time. That's actually something I would recommend because just in case you need to sit down, that is a-okay. Our last exercise is gonna be sit to stands. So we're coming, we're sitting down, and then we're gonna push up using our legs and our arms to get upright. 60 seconds is on the clock here, okay? So for this one, we are using our triceps, our arms to control how we sit. We are using our legs and our glute muscles to help as we push ourselves back up. Now you may be able to come all the way to standing and if you can, I want you to try to practice that. We are gonna move slowly and intentionally through this movement because this can be kind of hard. Sitting to standing requires that we shift our weight forward, nose over toes, to unweight our bottom so that we can come up to standing. If you've ever tried to stand up without leaning forward, it's really hard. <laughs> so that's why we practice that leaning over. We're pushing up through our hands, we're pushing up through our legs and coming all the way up. Let's stop here. Stop in a standing position. I'm gonna move my chair back to give me some support here. We've got a nice little rest break here for about another 20 seconds. Stop and catch your breath if you need to. I know that sitting to standing exercise is, is a challenging one. All right, we're gonna do some gentle shifting our weight. We're widening our base of support, moving our legs out side to side. And we're back to our heel to toe exercise, the first exercise we did. This time, we're moving unaffected foot in front of affected foot. 60 seconds is on the clock. We're gonna hold here. You're doing great. This is a hard one. Now sometimes people may just challenge you by putting affected foot in the front or just in the back, but I think it's important to work on both. Um, our legs aren't independent of each other. They work together. So it's important that we're working to strengthen both of them and work on balance at the same time for both of them. Let's give ourselves a little bit of a break here. Shift weight. And then we're gonna go back into that position again. Unaffected foot in front of the affected foot. Standing upright. If you feel comfortable and safe enough, you can take a hand off and try to keep your balance, feeling those angles go into overdrive to keep you upright. It's part of what we're working on. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna take a rest break. We're gonna hold on to our solid stable surface, catch our breath, do a little gentle weight shift back and forth. You're doing awesome. All right, we are on to our second exercise, which is gonna be toe taps to the front and the side. This time we're gonna be using our unaffected foot in the movement. 60 seconds is on the clock. 
So now our affected foot is gonna be supporting us. This can be a little challenging if your knee tends to buckle back and you have a brace to wear on your knee, that would be a good time to wear it. You're gonna be shifting your unaffected foot to the front, to the center, and then out to the side. So this is a whole different challenge on your affected side. Now we're relying on your affected side to really stabilize and carry the weight of your body. Again, make sure that you're going at your own pace. As always, with any of the exercises that I have on my channel, make sure that you are not pushing through pain. We respect pain here, we don't push through it. So if you start feeling it, just stop and back off. Okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna take a short break here. <sighs> Ooh, maybe throw in a shoulder roll or two. Those are my favorite. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get ready for the next one, which is gonna be reaching across. Now, last time we reached unaffected side to affected, this time it's gonna be opposite. 60 seconds on the clock, we are reaching affected side across unaffected side and shifting our weight that way. Now, you may not have a large amount of arm movement in your affected side and that's okay. If you need, if like if you can't move your affected arm in a way that can come out across your body, what I want you to do is just really focus on shifting your weight onto your unaffected foot. So you're just gonna be unweighting your affected side if you're not able to reach across. But if you do have some movement in your affected arm, I want you to try reaching across. Good. Very nice. You're doing great. Keep it going. We're almost there. Shifting our weight, reaching across. And let's relax. Very nice job. Okay, we only have two more to go. Now our next one's gonna be a bit more dynamic. We're back to standing marches. So what I want you to do is just take a few breaths. And let's get into it. So this time we're back into standing marches, alternating our legs, lifting up and down. 60 seconds on the clock. Again, if you need to go through this slowly while you're alternating, that is fine. If you feel like you can move a little bit more quickly, that's okay too. As long as you feel safe, you feel steady, and you have the supports that you need. If you need to modify this and you need to lift one leg at a time, you can do that too. There are a lot of different modifications that you can make to these exercises. But regardless of how you modify them, you're still gonna be getting a great balance workout. Good job. Let's make sure that you're continuing to take nice, big, deep breaths as you're working out. There may be a tendency to stop and try to hold your breath as you're working out. A lot of people don't realize they do that. Okay, let's stop and take a breath here. I'm gonna move my chair back into position here because we were, are gonna be going back into our sit to stands. So that's gonna be, we're reaching back onto a chair. Now it may be that you're reaching onto armrest, the seat of the chair, or you have someone who's helping you through this and pushing back up to stand. 60 seconds on the clock. Okay. We're moving slowly through this movement. Now, if you cannot get your bottom all the way up off the chair, that's okay. I just want you to work on pushing up and try to get your, or if you can't come all the way up to standing, just try to get your bottom up off the chair. But if you can come all the way up to standing, that's great. Meet yourself where you are. Everybody's at a different point in their recovery and that's okay. When you're coming to stand up, you're really focusing on shifting your weight forward, getting your nose over your toes, 
Your legs are pushed back behind your knees and you're pushing to come all the way up to standing. Good job. Sit down here and then come on up. All right, everyone, guess what? We have made it to our cool down phase. Wonderful job. Push this over to the side here. Okay, so let's just stop. We're just gonna take a couple deep breaths here. We've got our legs nice spread apart. We're taking a deep breath in and out. Let's take one more of those deep breath in and out. Good job. We're gonna kind of go through our little weight shift here, bringing our body down, letting it know, okay, it's okay to relax. Thank you all so much for watching today, and I will see you in the next one.